of the features I like in Solid Edge 2024 is the um, search options within Pathfinder or um, uh, in the parts library. So um, you'll find it just below the header and this has been sort of enhanced so that if we start typing um, it gives you a list of all the components that are listed within the Pathfinder. So these are all resistors um, that start with RO. So um, we could just stop there and then hit enter and that's going to just go through and pick all the resistors that um, start with RO and um, allows for easy selection. Now, um, obviously that can work with any string. So if we put in cap, um, that will take in any um, capacitors and um, you don't need any sort of precursor or um, wildcards in there to sort of go through and select those. So um, if we sort of then extend that, so the um, options are based around the Microsoft search uh, rules. So for example, we could do a search with a wildcard. So if we wanted to find a resistor, maybe um, we could go R0. Um, one and then put a wildcard as a star. So notice it then sort of drops the um, list of items in here. Um, but then if we go RES say 02, um, I don't need the star in the end. The, the star wildcard for multiple number of characters only needs to go in the middle so I can just go through. And as you can see, that's got anything that is RO2 in here. So you can sort of limit it that way. Alternatively, um, if we wanted to pick anything that was um, resistor O2, um, sorry, zero, and then a, either a two or a three, um, I can put in a brackets and anything in the brackets will be used for the next character. So if I go there, you'll see that it's picking up RSO2 and RSO3 in that search. So that gives us a um, range um, that could be a, um, a to Z or A to um, C to give you everything that's in between. So A, B, C. Um, so that gives you some good control. Um, one of the other characters to search on is a hash sign, which stands for a single character. So I can go hash any number of characters pin. So this looks for anything that's got a pin in the name, but it has to have um, a number at the start. Um, and in this case, it's got an underscore or a space, so it sort of carries across both those. So we've used any number of characters as the star. First character um, is a um, hash, which means it's a numeric character. So um, from there, we can sort of work through um, finding the items that we're after. So, for example, we could look for... Um, any connectors, you can sort of see that that's um, given me a whole bunch of um, items. So there's sort of various ones across. So we've got connector 448, 412, 46. Um, some of them are just um, connectors, others. Um, so if we look um, now, uh, we may want to just ignore the green ones. So there is another option here. So if we go C O double N as we did before, um, and then we've got the uh, any number of characters, so star, dash, and then we want to ignore the green ones, we go into the brackets and put an exclamation mark, which means ignore. So anything starting with a G and then go um, star again, you'll see that we only get the um, connectors that are um, yellow. Um, plus some of the other ones that 
would fit that category as well. So um, you can use the exclamation mark to negate something. Um, so there's a lot of options in here to um, work with in making sure that you can find the parts that you want, especially when you've got large assemblies. This is really important. As I said before, this also works in the parts library. Um, so when you get to your folder, if you're looking for something specific, we can go and do the same sort of thing um, and do a search for the right item. So this has got anything that starts with brackets four. Um, so you can find the files that you're after in a um, folder that has lots of files and it sort of allows you to sort of build in that um, searching capability here as well. So hopefully you'll find this interesting and useful for your ongoing use of Solid Edge.